Which medications help you lose weight? All of us want to know the secret. Which medications are not only going to help you lower your blood sugar levels, but they're also going to help you lose weight. 70 plus percent of people in the United States struggle with being overweight or obese. You heard that right. That means majority of us here in the United States are actually struggling with a chronic disease called obesity, which is causing things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, and so much more. A lot of these conditions would probably be eliminated if we didn't struggle so much with our weight. On today's video, I am going to tell you the four different classes that we use in the diabetes world to help people lose weight and control the diabetes a little bit better. Before we get started, this is your host, Diana Bitucci. I'm a board-certified APRN here in the United States. It is my passion to educate and help all of you worldwide so we can beat diabetes together. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new, share this video with others, and always comment below and let me know your thoughts. Please be mindful that a lot of these medications that I'm going to talk about were actually not indicated for weight loss. That's right. They were studied for diabetes, and then we found out that they actually help with weight loss as well. So we started using these medications in people with weight issues, because remember, weight problems are actually chronic problems, and it is chronic disease. Obesity is a chronic disease that we still have to treat, and we have to be mindful of. Let's get started with a number one class, which happens to be one of my favorite, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is safe to the end because of course, naturally, we save the best for last. The number one class is going to be your GLP-1 receptor agonist. These are going to be your common ones that you may have seen, like Ozempic, Trulicity, Bidurian, Victoza. We also have an oral one called Rebelsis. Wegovy, which is Ozempic, has also been approved for weight loss, but Wegovy and Ozempic are interchangeable. They are the same medication with two different names. There's a lot of reasons for that, but all you need to know is that they're the same medications. One is approved for diabetes and the other one is approved for weight loss. So let's talk about why this class is so successful with helping people lower their blood sugar levels, but also aiding people with weight loss. This class works by mimicking the effects of a naturally occurring hormone called glucagon-like peptide, GLP-1, which is released from the intestines in response to food intake. GLP-1 has several beneficial effects on glucose metabolism and appetite reduction. This class helps slow down the gastric emptying of the stomach, which helps regulate the rate at which nutrients, including glucose, are absorbed in the bloodstream. This can contribute to your blood sugar levels being more stable, and it can actually increase your satiety. So satiety is a feeling of feeling full. When we are keeping and slowing down the gastric emptying, the patients tend to actually feel more full because the food is being processed at a slower rate. So let's just say you had breakfast and normally you would have a snack in between breakfast and lunch. You may not require that snack and you may actually not require as much food as you once did with your meals. Because the digestion is being slowed down, you may feel full for a lot longer and you may feel full faster. So normally, if you were able to eat a full apple, you may only be able to eat half an apple and feel very satisfied. This obviously leads to people having less calorie intake. As a result, we not only see better blood sugar levels, but we're seeing quite a bit of weight loss with this class that's been very impressive. You do have people that are using this class only for weight loss purposes, which obviously makes sense because Wegovy is indicated for weight loss. So if you can either get Wegovy or you can get something similar like Ozempic or the Trulicity, essentially they are going to do the same job and they are going to both be as effective. The second class is going to be your SGLT2 inhibitors. This will include things like Jardians, Farsiga, Invokana, and Staglatro. The two most commonly ones that I use personally would be Jardians and Farsiga, but I'll talk about that in a different video. So exactly why does this class of medication help with weight loss? This class of medication is actually indicated for type 2 diabetes, but now there are also cardiologists and nephrologists that actually are prescribing this class of medication for protection of the kidneys and the heart. 
but we're not going to get into that in this video. Let's talk about why this class actually helps with weight loss in addition to doing everything else that it does. These meds work by targeting a specific mechanism in the kidneys to help lower blood sugar levels. Why exactly are we seeing weight loss if all we're doing is getting rid of glucose through the urine? Well, remember, glucose is actually calories. So whenever we're getting rid of glucose, we're getting rid of calories. Now, you may not see as much weight loss as you would with the GLP class that I just talked about, but we do tend to see some weight loss with this class as well, which makes us very happy. Number three is going to be metformin. This is still one of my favorite medications on the market, and it is still the number one most prescribed medication that we use for diabetes pre-diabetes, and we use it for other purposes as well, but it still remains the number one most prescribed diabetic medication in the world today. It not only does it help lower blood sugar levels, it actually helps with some weight loss. I have patients lose sometimes up to 20 pounds when I initiate metformin. Let's talk about why metformin is actually beneficial for weight loss. The number one reason is because it tells the liver to stop making so much glucose. We know that the liver produces glucose through a process called glucogenesis. This is one of the defects with diabetics is because the body doesn't realize that, hey, these people are already sweet and the liver starts to make more glucose and therefore causing a higher rise in blood sugar levels. Metformin actually stops this process from happening, or I should say slows it down, so you're not getting so much release of glucose from the liver. And remember, whenever we have less glucose, we have less calories. So whenever we're stopping the process of more glucose going in the bloodstream, that's usually a very good thing, and we want that to happen, especially with people who are struggling with overproduction of glucose. As a result, patients tend to see some weight loss. Number two, it improves our insulin sensitivity. We all know that we want to be more insulin sensitive and not insulin resistant. So whenever we are more insulin sensitive, that means our body produces insulin naturally. So when we give patients metformin, it's actually making that insulin and utilizing that insulin better. We know that we need insulin to function and we need insulin because insulin is like a key that opens up the cell and the nutrients can go inside the cell and feed our bodies. If we don't have enough insulin sensitivity, our bodies overproduces too much insulin which can actually cause weight gain. Therefore, if metformin is improving insulin sensitivity, it's actually helping with weight loss for that reason because your body is using what it can more effectively without needing to overproduce too much insulin. Metformin does help control our blood sugar levels after meals. Therefore, a lot of people who suffer with high blood sugar levels after they eat, metformin can be a very good option for you. Be mindful that metformin does not stimulate insulin production from the pancreas. So it's not punching on the pancreas saying make more insulin. It's actually addressing the defects such as improving insulin sensitivity and lowering the glucose production from the liver. So that's why I really do like this medication because it does target the defects that are usually common with people with type 2 diabetes. And for that reason, we want a medication that's going to address the problem. Fourth class, which happens to be my absolute favorite and the most powerful class to aid in weight loss, and this is going to be your GLP, GIP medications. This is a brand new class in itself, and there's two medications in this class right now on the market. Manjaro, which is indicated for type 2 diabetes, and then Zebound, which is indicated for weight loss. Manjaro and Zebound are exactly the same medication. They just had two different names because of the labeling that they needed when they passed it through the FDA. So remember, Manjaro and Zebound are the same. By far, this is the most powerful class to help with weight loss, not only in head-to-head -head studies, but in my own personal experience of using these medications. Manjaro and Zebound are hands down superior when it comes to weight loss and also blood sugar control. Please remember my video is not sponsored. This is simply just for educational purposes, but I do like this class of medication because they are so powerful. The GLP class is only activating one. This class is actually activating two, which is why it makes it so powerful. It helps slow down the gastric emptying. It helps patients feel more full. It helps lower blood sugar levels throughout the day and also after meals. So remember, this class is the GLP with another added component, GIP, and that is why patients are feeling fuller longer, eating a lot less, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of weight loss. 
fortunately, and we're seeing very good glycemic control, a lot of the patients are actually achieving A1Cs below 7 that I'm personally treating, but the clinical studies that they did also show that a lot of people did reach their target A1C below 7%. Please be mindful that these medications should be prescribed by a healthcare provider. They all can have serious side effects, so you want to be very mindful. You want to make sure that there's no interactions with other medications that you may be taking. But as far as the diabetes world, these are the four classes that are not only helping lower diabetes, but also we're seeing some weight loss, in some cases significant weight loss by using them. Comment below. Let me know if you've used any of these medications and what your story is. I will see you all on the next video.